Okay, which one is the one that doesn't have the answer? And the answer to that is, this one actually doesn't have the answer, unfortunately. And in that case, we'll just call this to be non-elementary, okay? And once again, this means that we do not have a nice function you know, for its anti-derivative. No polynomials, or no trig functions, no exponential, no logarithms, or any combination of any of that to be the answer for this guy. You can use some uh, defense functions, but as I said, this right here is non-elementary for its anti-derivative. And it's actually pretty, pretty hard to show that this is actually non-elementary. And if you guys want to study like um, upper division or graduate level of abstract algebra, maybe you'll learn the proof of that one day. But anyway, today let's see how we can actually integrate this guy. And you might be wondering, hey, if you distribute this to that, the function part wise, x squared and e to the x squared, isn't that the same as the first part, right? The first one right here. So shouldn't this be a non-elementary as well? Well, let me tell you, because remember, sometimes when you do integrals, the more the better, right? And the first step that I will do is, I will just distribute this into the parentheses. So we are talking about the integral of this times that, and let me put that down first. 2x squared times e to the x squared. And let me close this for the first integral, and then we will have to add it with the second integral, which is just e to the x squared times 1, right? So that's the second integral, e to the x squared dx. And the truth is, this one, if you just have the question right here by itself, such as the first one right here, this one is non-elementary. Likewise, this one is also non-elementary. But together, when you add them up, nice things will happen, you will see. In the end, you actually end up with a really nice function for the final answer, okay? Let me show you. Okay, let's focus on this part, 2x squared times e to the x squared. How can we actually proceed? Well, we have the 2x squared times e to the x squared. Maybe we should try to use integration by parts. Hopefully, you guys have done you know, a lot of the integrations up to this point already. So, when you have x to some power times e to the x or something, Try to use integration by parts, right? And if you want to use integration by parts, the first thing is that you have to know a part of the function right here that we can actually integrate. So, yes, I can integrate 2x squared, and you can differentiate e to the x squared. But let me tell you, that wouldn't you know, make any progress. And if you look at the exponential part, e to the x squared, can we integrate that? No, because I just told you, I cannot integrate this, right? Well, if you have an extra x right here, if you have x times e to the x squared, and in that case, it's actually integrable, right? So the idea right here is that I'm going to just kind of break this apart, and let me show you. This right here, I will rewrite it. I want to pair up this with an x, and in fact, I want to pair this up with a 2x. This is 2x squared. Let me put down one of the x first, and then times 2x, and then this part, which is e to the x squared. And then, of course, we have the dx. And you see, x times 2x, of course, is 2x squared, and then this is still the same, right? From here, we can do integration by parts. And then, in the end, don't forget, we still have this part, like the integral of e to the x squared dx. Anyway. I will show you guys the DI method, and let me just put it down on the side. We are going to pick something to integrate and differentiate, right? And on the side, let's put down the plus minus. Let's figure out what do we have to integrate first, because integration is always harder, right? And of course, just by the discussion earlier, we are going to integrate this part, namely 2x e to the x squared, and we will have to differentiate the x, okay? And if you guys want to know the DI method in detail, I will have the link to the DI method video in the description for you guys to watch. So check that out. Anyway, differentiate x, we get 1. And when you integrate 2x e to the x squared, we can just do u, u equal to x squared, and then get du, which is, is precisely 2x, right? And if you do the u sub on your own, in the end, you end up with just e to the x squared for the integration of that. You can check real quick, if you differentiate e to the x squared, you give e to the x squared first, and then by the chain rule, you are going to multiply by the derivative x squared, which is 2x right here. 
So you know this is the gentleman. Anyway, for the DI method, you are going to first multiply by the diagonal, and this is the first part of the answer. And don't forget to attach the sign on the side, okay? So the first part, this is going to be positive x times that, which is just x times e to the x squared. And this right here is the first part of the answer. Secondly, you will have to multiply by a row right here. And you might be wondering, how come I didn't continue? Yes, if you differentiate 1, you get 0. That's really nice, right? But the problem is that I cannot integrate e to the x squared, so I cannot continue. That's why I had to stop, OK? But anyway, when you multiply by a row along with the sign on the side, this is still an integral. So this is the minus, and then we will have the integral of this times that, which is the integral of 1 times e to the x squared is just e to the x squared dx. And do you guys think what's up with this already? You sure, huh? Because now, even though this is the result of that, and we are not done yet, because this is not doable. But don't worry, because we have another one to back us up. Remember, originally, this integral, we have this part, right? So we can just write this down. We write down the plus integral e to the x squared dx. And now this is the best thing in the world, because this and that cancel each other out. So in the end, you see that the answer is just nicely x times e to the x squared, and we are done. And at the end of all the work, we can just put on plus c right here. Okay, And in my opinion, when you know an integral is not elementary, you know, sometimes you can just study the common non-elementary integrals. So when you notice this, you don't even have to spend any time, any work. You can put on the answer. This is the answer for that, right, technically. But this is just as cool, right? And now, in the end, I will show you guys um, why this is the case. Remember, when you are doing integration by parts, in fact, you are trying to reverse the product rule of the differentiation, OK? So when you have this, let's just take the derivative real quick. You will actually end up with that, OK? So let's just check, OK? I will check this in blue. And we'll just check our answer by differentiation. Let's differentiate x times e to the x squared. And if you want to put on a plus e, OK, fine, but it's going to be 0 in a second. Anyway, this is a product of two functions, and the product rule says I'm going to keep the first function, which is x, and then I multiply by the derivative of the second. Derivative of e to the something is first e to the that, which is the same thing, but don't forget the chain rule. We have to multiply by the derivative of this, which is the derivative of that is 2x, right? The derivative of x is 2x. And then we add the second function, which is e to the x squared times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is just nicely equal to 1, right? And now you see that both of them have e to the x squared. And by the way, the derivative of c is just 0, so I didn't put it down. Okay. But anyway, both of these terms have e to the x squared, so we can factor that. And let me just put that down right at the end. And then for the first term, x times 2x, we get 2x squared. And then we add a 1. So we put them in the parentheses. So 2x squared plus 1 times e to the x squared. And this is exactly the original question in the integral, right? So anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. I think this is really, really cool. And in fact, this is a pretty popular uh, calculus 2 integral as well.